those people in the fossil fuel industry, it is a simple truth that your business is going to go away. It's just a matter of figuring out how to do that without leaving people behind or destabilizing the system. The original grid was designed to allow power to flow in one direction from the generator to the user. And now we've got the need for power to flow in both directions. The future of the grid will be more houses that are providing their own energy, that also have electric vehicles plugged into the garage. Well, that takes the utility completely out of the loop. So either you transform and adapt or get out of the way. In six states across the country, power companies are fighting to change the rules. We understand that their bottom line is investment. They've got to turn a profit. The utility does not want to advance solar other than if they own it. They see rooftop solar as a out and out competitor. These electric monopolies need to understand there's an energy revolution going on. Shouldn't I have the freedom to put solar panels up on my roof if I want? Should there really be a utility telling me, no, you can't do that? If they keep trying to push that, more and more people are just gonna disconnect from the grid. I want the power company at the table when it comes to developing solar and EVs because they have the money, they have the infrastructure. Electric vehicles are one of the only areas of load growth right now for utilities across this country. If a utility partners with automotive, then all of a sudden you have mobile energy storage and if you have vehicle to grid communications, now the utility has a new market. You have to adapt your business model. You need to be supporting the electric car industry because the bottom line is they're burning your electrons that you make a profit off of. To an average consumer, they want the light to come on when they flip the switch and they want to be able to pay the bill. We've got people who actually have a higher utility bill than they do a mortgage on their house. You don't really have the appreciation of electricity until you don't have it. The electric grid was originally designed to last 50 years. And in many cases, it's over 100 years old. If we lost power for two weeks in the summer, it would be a humanitarian crisis of major proportions. Many of our bases are at the end of the power line. If anything happens upstream, we're solely running on diesel generators. We don't want to lose these military bases. One of the questions they're going to be asking is, does the base have its own power? There's virtually no one that is opposed to solar. Now that differs from our elected officials going against their constituents. Just because they're conservative doesn't mean they can't embrace electric cars or like not having to be beholden to whatever the utility decides they want to charge them. Solar is not something that only tree huggers like. What is more conservative than generating your own electricity and not be dependent on someone else to do it for you? It's such superior technology, we're going to turn the corner so fast it'll make people's heads spin. Put it on a moral foundation. Everyone has a right to clean water, to toxic free air. This is the civil rights issue of our time. To take care and protect my creation. We will stand as one united force. I believe that God created this world and put that sun out there, in my opinion, for us to take advantage of. Now, when the companies can begin to say, how do we make a profit as well as protect the environment, then I think we're on the right path. So therefore, we have an obligation to fight. We will not bend, we will not break, and we will not bow down.